Hi everyone, I'm Kevin. And I'm Brooks. And if you've ever thought about buying a Chromebook, we know there are a lot of questions out there. Indeed there are. Might go so far as to say myths. One could call them myths. All right, so let's talk a little bit about some of these questions and myths. Okay, what do you got for me? Not secure. Not true, right? So Chromebook or Chrome OS has been designed from the ground up to mm -hmm. be secure. So everything stored locally is encrypted, mm -hmm. and every all your communication to the cloud is encrypted. So mm -hmm. if you were, heaven forbid, were to lose your Chromebook, mm -hmm. All that data is secure, and you just need another Chromebook to log in, and it's instantly your device. Okay, but you said cloud. So does that mean I can't use it offline? It does not mean you can't use it offline. There is local storage on Chromebooks. We have a wide range of Chromebook offerings, um, so we have different storage options. But mm -hmm. the Chrome OS automatically syncs um, some of your documents and your drive folders mm -hmm. to your local storage mm -hmm. based on how you're using them. You could actually go in and say, I want to keep this document on my local storage. All right, well, let's say I'm flying to Asia on a plane. Can I watch movies? You can. You can either save it to the local storage or there's an SD card slot in the side. So what most people do is load up an SD card with all the movies they want to watch and no matter what device they have or which Chromebook they're using, they slot it in and watch movies. Okay, so that all sounds great from an end user perspective. But if I'm an IT person and I care about the management of this, <laughs> they've got to be hard to manage, right? They're not. There is a Google management console that gives you virtually all the same flexibility you'd have to, in today's environment and even more. Right, so you can manage uh, security settings and passwords. You can push content. You can restrict content and applications. Um, you can even manage kiosk-like devices or digital signage. So you can push content and maintain remote digital signage and remote uh, manage those devices as well. Okay, so Chromebook though is mostly like an education thing, kind of lower end? No, no, no. Well, Chromebook is a great fit in education, and we have a wide range of education offerings. And one of the reasons it's done so well, especially in sort of K through 12 education, mm -hmm. is it's simple, it's fast, and it's easy to manage. Which are all things businesses care about. Businesses and higher ed. Mm -hmm. So we're starting to see Chromebooks growing in higher education, mm -hmm. especially with Google Apps. A lot of universities are using Google Apps mm -hmm. uh, for collaboration, mm -hmm. um, but also into enterprise and business. It's easy to manage. It's simple. It's fast. That's the kind of things that they want. That meets a lot of checkboxes for them. Fair enough. All right, folks. If you haven't had a chance to take a look at a Chromebook, now might be a really good time to do that. Uh, if you'd like to know more, go to www.lenovo.com slash chrome to learn more about our latest Chromebook offerings and our full line of devices running the Chrome OS. Thank you, Brooks. Thanks, Kevin.